Welcome back to Austin Live. Okay, if you are looking for an exhilarating experience, we can get you soaring. Yeah, it's out at Lake Travis where the water level is down, but the new thrill ride is way up there. Take a look. It's time to take a walk on the wild side. I'd say this pristine shore along Cypress Creek Cove at Lake Travis is the new go-to spot for thrill seekers. This property has not been habitated for about 70 years. Probably the only person who truly has lived on this has been the Indians. And now, Lake Travis Zipline Adventures. It's the lake's new adrenaline rush. After a quick boat ride, Betty is sure to be screaming. Uh, excuse me, you're the one with hide issues. Oh yeah. Okay, are you ready? Mm hmm Are you scared? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Don't psych me out. <laughs> In this heat, we decided to go straight to the shade to gear up. Okay guys, so now we're gonna put on our gear. For this high-flying adventure, you need a harness. You get as tight and safe as possible. A helmet and a trolley. And lots of water. For this half-day adventure, you hike between the zip lines. It's a workout, but what really takes your breath away are the views. And we were told the scenery is even better once you start flying. I'm ready. Let's go zipping. Line six, zip clear, brake set. With that, we're off the ground and in the air, flying over treetops, cliffs, and Lake Travis itself. How wow. fast do you go? <laughs> it will get up to probably about 45 to 50 miles per hour. Wow. It's definitely a thrill, but at the same time, you're getting a fantastic view of Lake Travis that you can't get anywhere else. Check out this bird's eye view from photographer Kevin Riley. You know, we all started out intimidated here, some of us more than others. <laughs> I don't make sounds like that. <laughs> but the adrenaline rush took care of any fear we had, and we were literally on a high as we soared through the air. That was so exhilarating. It's like being a bird up here. There are seven runs. Many are longer and faster than anything we've done before, especially the one at the end. This is definitely putting the grand and grand finale. This is the last run here, and it's a doozy. 25 stories up, half a mile long. I don't even know how fast you get going, Jason. You know, Betty, I think it's time to put the helmets back on. Definitely. Who knew you could have this much fun on the lake without being in the lake? You're actually able, when you're going down this thing, to look out at the lake and you see people, you know, with their little days off down there skiing and cavorting and having a good time. And you think, I'm having a better time than all of them. I don't care if they're on jet skis, skiing, what they're doing. We had an absolutely fabulous time out there, and so will you. I have to tell you, the adventure cost $89 per person, but that includes all seven zip lines and also as much time as you want to spend, maybe even the rest of the day, on their half mile of beachfront property right there on Lake Travis. So you can certainly have plenty of time to cool off. A little tip though, this last weekend, a couple of people from the station tried to go. They were completely booked. So plan a little bit ahead if you decide that you want to head out there.